So I'm really appreciative that you're here today because uh, when I came through town last night, there wasn't many folks here in town. Did y'all notice that? A lot of people leave town for maybe family reunions or the unofficial start of summer, but today's a really important weekend because it's Memorial Day, so you got some colors on, right? Red, white, and blue. I wanted to go over some of that with you because we have a tendency to forget. Do y'all know that there's a whole war that's called the Forgotten War? Can you believe that we'd forget a whole war? It's called the Korean War. I pay attention to that because our son's in Korea. Maybe you haven't ever heard it called Korea. Some people around here might call it Korea, like my great uncle <laughs> when he was there. I, I was in Korea, he'd tell me. I'm like, what place is that? But uh, that was 70 years ago, and over 40,000 men lost their lives, and we've forgotten it. That's kind of sad, isn't it, that we could forget something like that? So today, as a nation, tomorrow we observe Memorial Day, where those who have fallen in a line of battle uh, for our freedom, we remember them, we memorialize their sacrifice. So I never have known someone personally, but today I'll be going out to a cemetery, and I'll look around, there'll be a lot of flags of people who have served, not all of those have died, like both my grandpas served, and they'll have a flag. I want to encourage you that if you ever get a chance to go to a national cemetery that you go and visit and walk throughout the graves and see if people died in combat because they did so uh, to give us freedom and liberty and even though we don't know them personally we know the blessings that we've received in fact Jesus was pretty adamant about that kind of sacrifice John 15 13 says no greater love than this that the one who lay down his life for a brother so that kind of sacrifice is the greatest love that we could ever demonstrate, one to God and one for each other. So, so don't forget what this is all about. I know a lot of people go out to the lake. That's a good thing. I know people go camping and go do family reunions. Those are all good things. But uh, the purpose of this weekend is so that we will reflect and remember that men and women have given up their lives for our nation. So just like Jesus died on the cross to take away our sins, people died to help give us liberty so let's give thanks to god let's pray lord we pause as a people and that's pretty tough to do nowadays we all get so busy caught up in our own agendas or where we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to be up to that sometimes we just fail to remember help us to not forget lord help us to be adamant about praying for peace and staying away from war as much as we can. But when we have those wars and we have those men and women who go to serve, that we would pray for them and that they would return home safely, but just as the flowers that are brought to remember, someone gave their life for us. Before any of these children were born, maybe even before I was born, someone sacrificed so that we could be here in a land where we have freedom to pray to God Almighty. So we give thanks, and we remember their families, we pray for them, and all of their descendants, and for our nation. May we today truly be one nation under God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The children said, Amen. Amen. All right.